Welcome to Math with Wong. Today we're going to look at number seven of the May 2024 Math ANA SL paper one. So as you can see, this question is a derivative question. Part A, you're asked to find the first derivative and then asked to find the second derivative. Now you're given a polynomial function, so simple power rule. Um, first derivative is going to equal to 3x squared minus 2x minus 1. And the second derivative is equal to 6x minus 2. Right, So that should be two, uh, three easy marks. Part B of the question, we're looking at local maximum. So when you see local maximum, that means we need to set the derivative, first derivative uh, equal to zero. So we're gonna take the first derivative, which is three X squared minus two X minus one and set it equal to zero. This is a quadratic and is factorable. So you're going to factor into two brackets, 3x squared, so that's going to be 3x and x, a negative 1, so it's going to be a 1 and negative 1. Now, you need a sum of negative 2, so that's going to be minus 3x plus 1x. So 3x squared minus 3x plus 1x, that's minus 2x, and then 1 and 1 give you negative 1, which means x is equal to negative 1 third, and x is equal to 1. Now, we have two points here. Um, they say find the coordinate of A being the local maximum. So one of them is a maximum, and the other is probably going to be a minimum. Um, how do we know? So part B, it says use your answer in part A2 to justify your answer. You say, well, what does that mean? Part A2 is the second derivative. So that means they want you to use the second derivative test. So what's a second derivative test? The second derivative test allows you to check the concavity at a particular point. If the second derivative is greater than zero, well, that means the graph is concave up. Well, then you're going to have a local minimum. If the second derivative is less than zero, then you have a concave down. Concave down, meaning you have a local maximum. So what we do then is we're going to substitute those two points into the second derivative to see whether it's a positive number or a naive number. Now, what is the second derivative? It was 6x minus 2. So the second derivative of negative one third is going to be 6 multiplied by x uh, minus 2. So that's going to give you negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4. Negative 4 is less than 0. Less than 0, it's going to be concave down. Concave down, meaning this must be a local maximum at x equal negative 1 over 3. Now, you can also double check the other point. That's 6 times 1 minus 2, which is going to be positive 4. Positive 4 is going to be positive, uh, telling me that the graph is concave up. And that would be a local minimum at x equals to 1. Now, we're looking for the maximum. So we are looking for the coordinates of A. So therefore, point A is at x equals negative one third. To find a y value, I have to substitute the negative one third into the original equation. And the original equation, it's x cubed. So y is equal to uh, negative one third to the power of three um, minus x squared. So negative one third squared uh, minus x. So negative one third. Uh, plus 1. So sub it in. This is negative 1 over 29, uh, 27, sorry. Uh, this is 1 over 9. Uh, this is plus 1 third. Uh, this is plus 1. 
make the same common denominator of 27 this is 3 this is 9 and that's 27 over 27 add them up you're going to get negative 4 plus 5 so 32 over 27 so therefore point a is negative one third and 32 over 27. Okay, uh, what's part C? Part C talks about a inflection point. Inflection point means the second derivative is equal to zero. Okay. Uh, so the second derivative is 6x minus 2. So this is part C. So 6x minus 2 is equal to 0. 6x equals 2. x is equal to 1 a third. So that's the point where you have a inflection. And they only looking for the X coordinate. So uh, that's all I have to do. Um, last part of the question. We have a normal. A normal equation of the normal at the point zero and a one. So what I'm looking for here is we're looking for an equation of a line. In the equation of a line, you need, first of all, the slope. The slope is going to be the derivative at 0, x value equal to 0. But this is going to be the slope of a tangent. So what's the derivative function that we calculated? Go back to that page. It's 3x squared minus 2x minus 1. Now, when x is equal to 0, the slope is going to equal to a negative one. So you can sub it in and that's going to equal to a negative one. Now, but I don't want a slope of tangent though. I want a slope of normal. Normal is going to be a negative reciprocal. Now, another word, what I use in class in everyday English, we say this is the opposite and flip, opposite signed and flip upside down. That's negative reciprocal. So a negative one would become positive, opposite signed, and one, when you flip one over one, you're still going to get one over one. So the slope of the Normal is going to be positive one. And it's going to go through the point is zero and one. Well, zero and one is actually the y intercept. So you have the y intercept here. You have the slope there. All you have to do is write, therefore, the equation of the normal is y equal one x plus equation of the normal and that is number um what is it number seven thanks for watching